So in today's video, I'm going to talk about things that are coming to Virginia Beach and Hampton Roads in going into 2023 and on. And we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone. I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area that includes Virginia Beach and goes through Williamsburg. And I do videos every week about living and moving to the area. So there are some cool things coming to this area that I think are worth mentioning, especially if you are moving here soon, or even if you're a local, these new things are worth uh, noting for you to travel, things to do, events, and all kinds of stuff. So number one is something in the water. So several years ago, Pharrell Williams, who is a native of Virginia Beach, by the way, uh, in the Salem area, uh, he wanted to bring a new concert, a big event to Virginia Beach called Something in the Water and bring a lot of artists, a lot of performing artists uh, and bands uh, to the beach. It was one of the biggest events that would come to Virginia Beach at all. And you've heard me talk about my videos before about the pros and cons of living in Virginia Beach and other uh, Virginia Beach type videos is talking about the things that this area lacks. One of the things is it doesn't have a lot of A-lister performers coming to here unless it, they already went maybe to Washington, D.C. or somewhere and they stop here on the way. And a lot of big artists came to the area and did a three-day show over a weekend. And it was a big draw, a big deal for the Virginia Beach area. Now, that became, the plan was for it to be an annual thing. But then Pharrell decided to take it and move it away from Virginia Beach. And for a lot of variety of reasons, he decided to move it to Washington, D.C. last year in 2022. And so it was not here. And there was talk and thought that maybe it was never going to come back. Uh, but this year, Pharrell is going to bring it back, 2023, the end of April, April 28th to 30th in 2023. Tickets are going, have, actually went on sale, but there's going to be some great bands, big headliners. Number two is involving Carnival Cruise Line. So Carnival Cruise Line ports uh, in Norfolk. There's a port in Norfolk near Waterside in Town Point Park, next to Town Point Park. And you'll see cruise ships docked along the shoreline uh, randomly uh, during the, the summertime. Well, they're going to more than double the capacity of the amount of uh, ships that will be uh, coming in and out of Norfolk coming into 2023 and extending the length of time that uh, ships will go out will go out to sea. So this is a big deal for the economy in Norfolk. And so this is an underrated element of Norfolk's uh, economy is, is the tourism due to the ships coming in from cruise lines. And so Carnival Cruise Line stepping up their involvement with Norfolk in this regard is a big deal for the local Norfolk economy. I'm not personally a big cruise ship guy, but a lot of people I know are. I think this is a big deal, especially if you already live here and you're going to be just taking a cruise that is leaving port uh, in uh, Norfolk. It's great to have more options in Norfolk. So that leads me to number three, which is talking about Pembroke Mall. So I've mentioned before about Pembroke Mall in the town center portion of Virginia Beach. So town center is like the downtown Virginia Beach and Pembroke Mall is just north or right across the street from town center. Town center is it has its own identity now and is its its own ecosystem uh, now since it's been built about 20 plus years ago. Now, across the street though, Pembroke Mall has slowly deteriorated. And so it's just a rundown mall. And it, last year, well, this past this year, it finally closed and is not serving people in the mall anymore. Now, there are places around the mall that still, that are still open. For example, Target, Kohl's, uh, there are a couple of other places, some uh, like J. Crew is an outlet there, and it's being converted into a multi use area, uh, senior living, restaurants, a hotel, also 14 stories, I think. And recently, the new name was decided on as Pembroke Square. Not super unique, but it's just an added level of newness to an area that has really been lacking any sort of fresh. Uh, new vibes at all. Now, a new restaurant is coming to Virginia Beach that I used to, I would originally have thought what I would have avoided at all completely. It's called Chicken Salad Chick. If you like chicken salad, good for you. I am not a chicken salad fan. I can't stand the stuff. And so you're saying, well, why are you talking about a chicken salad place in Virginia Beach? This chicken salad chick restaurant had a location in Hampton. It has now been announced that it will be moving one into Virginia Beach in 2023. And so what did I do? I'm like, eh, I'm going to try chicken salad chick to see what it's like. So I went over there. And I wanted to see how, what is this chicken salad like? Is it any good? Is it going to taste like any normal chicken salad that I despise? So I go in there. It's a nice setting, nice sitting seating area and there are probably 15 different types of chicken salad that they have which i didn't even know you can make that much chicken salad uh, variety but you can you put it on different types i had a sandwich a croissant sandwich of barbecue chicken salad 
I thought, well, if I'm going to have chicken salad, I'm going to try some that could easily mask the taste of chicken salad. It was actually pretty good. I liked it. It tasted like barbecue. And so if you don't like chicken salad, you can take it from me that it's probably worth going to. But if you love chicken salad, my review is probably not a good one to go off of because I bet you if I tried their traditional chicken salad or something that tasted like chicken salad, I would probably not like it. So I would say I'm probably not going to go back there myself. But otherwise, if you do like chicken salad, I would I would try this place out. The location is to be determined, but I'll, I'll drop a link below more, for more information as to where it's going to be located if you love chicken salad. And then we go up to Williamsburg for number six, which is a new location called Uptown Alley. It's an upscale bowling alley. An entertainment area that got, got duck pen bowling, regular bowling, arcades, really nice restaurant. And it's actually, they kind of partnered with the city, city a bit because they're getting incentives from the city to do upgrades to the building itself and the aesthetics of the building. Part of the taxes they're paying is going to be put going towards the upgrade of the building. So it's kind of into the city's best interest as well to make that building nice because it's a big building on a main road in, on Richmond Road. It's a Richmond-based uh, business uh, that has several locations, one of which actually is in China, believe it or not. Williamsburg, one thing it often is missing is a lot of entertainment or indoor entertainment specifically. And so I think this will be a nice add-on that is missing in Williamsburg. If you have any more questions about living in Virginia Beach and the Hampton Roads area through Williamsburg, I help people all the time relocate to the area. That's what I do. So if you have any questions about doing that, relocating from Williamsburg to Virginia Beach, I am here. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me. I have my contact information in the description. You can do it at any point and I will do whatever I can to help you relocate to the area. And I will see you on the next video.